May we rise as we declare God's faithfulness and release God's power into our atmosphere. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you praise for a glorious year. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. You gave me unprecedented exploits, even when the entire world was groaning. Thank you, Lord, for saving me for exploits and ushering me into good days. You brought me in, Lord, to speak to me, and you hid me in the secret place of your presence. You gave me reasons to express gratitude and protected me with your shield of favor. I advanced because you commanded me to advance. I entered into greater glory. You made me fit and ready to be used in the kingdom and ushered me to walk in kingdom success. I am now in the middle of supernatural increase and I've returned to say thank you. I realize, Father, that you are the reason I'm still here. You've done so much for me and I'm super grateful. As I cross over to the new year, the Lord is my keeper and I declare that is a new dawn for me. I cross over in strength and with greater glory. I enter strong in the spirit and on fire for God. I go through the year swearing like an eagle. I open my spirit and embrace all that you have in store for me. In 2021, my whole life shifts upward. What I struggled with this year will not enter 2021 with me. I will not walk in unbelief or doubt. I will trust and rely on God. My focus will be on God. I'll serve God better. I'll get greater results in God. My faith will be stronger. My love for God will go to a higher level. And God's word will never be scarce in my life. I'll work and function in complete alignment with God and His plan for me and my family. In the name of Jesus, I will never be bounced off. The Lord disappoints every evil appointment and plan in the name of Jesus throughout the new year. God is my son and shield. He gives me grace and glory. No good thing will be with that for me. I cross over into 2021 in grand style. I cross over confident that the Lord has gone ahead of me to make every crooked path straight, level every mountain and fill every valley. I enter into the new year joyfully prosperous abounding with wealth and busting forth in hell i enter into 2021 full of god's glory i enter with shouts of hallelujah for 2021 at the frequency of the supernatural. We are aligned to receive an outpouring of grace like never seen in our midst. Pastor Dele Bango, Pastor Koride Kumaya, Dr. Mensa Otavio, Pastor David Ibiyome, Pastor Matthew Ashimolo, Bishop David Abioye, Pastor Modele Fatoyibo, and the Reverend Yodo Fatoyibo. In a mission to unlock the bounties of heaven, we recharge, we receive direction to launch out for the year and the 12 days of glory 2021 from the 2nd to 13th of January, 6 p.m. daily and on Sundays, 
9 a.m. and 6 p.m. at the Koza Auditorium, Kuzafe Bio Pasapura, the 12 Days of Glory 2021. We celebrate you. Come.
it but for the 12 days of glory 2020 she spoke to herself that this 12 days of glory would be different her twin sister also persuaded her because her twin sister is a member and she decided i'm going to go through it all hallelujah. hallelujah now during one of the sessions pastor taught on the power of speaking in tongues and that word stuck to her mind she took that word with her began to speak in tongues, and then she went to her workplace. She happens to be a teacher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, three pupils that she's teaching just were termed dull. Other teachers had given up on those pupils, but she said, I'm not going to do that. She remembered the word she got from the 12 days of glory. She gathered the pupils together, held their hands, and began to pray in the Holy Ghost. She prayed in the Holy Ghost, declaring that their minds are open and they begin to receive and imbibe what they've been taught. Immediately, she finished the prayer. She brought the questions the pupils could not answer and they began to answer effortlessly. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. She took the word. In these 12 days of glory, instructions are coming. Someone has to make up their mind. Yes. And as the Lord leave it, a word will come for you. Amen. A word that when you apply Amen. will give results Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. She also said that during the 12 days of glory, she was having excruciating headache. And when pastor declared and cursed every headache, she got relieved and was healed immediately. From Jesus. that time till now, Hallelujah. that headache has ceased. Hallelujah. That is what the Lord can do. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice and celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we rise to our feet as we take our Bible reading and make some confessions tonight? Our Bible reading is from Psalms 107 from verses 21 to 22. I'll be reading the NIV translation. It says, let them give thanks to the Lord. For his unfailing love 
and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Let them sacrifice, thank offerings, and tell of his works with songs of joy. And let the church say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Thank, you Thank you for your unfailing for love. Your unfailing love. Thank, you Thank you for your wonderful for your deeds. Wonderful deeds. With, a with a heart of gratitude, I pour my love on I you. Love on I you. am deliberate and, and intentional in giving you praise today. You praise for today. you have been good, have been good and, kind and kind to me. To me. When others wait. When others wait and said, and said there was a casting down. down you lifted my, you head, lifted my head and I could boldly, I could say, boldly say there is a lifting of return with a sacrifice of thanksgiving thank you Lord thank you Lord lift up your voices and give him thanks Worship him tonight. Malari shele breke bele ki abraga bala. E breke bele ki e breke bele sonya ba. Le braka bala kata le ba sante ba. Rasa gaba 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 kati. E breke bele sonya ba. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering our prayers and receiving our thanks tonight. For in Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus one more time. Hallelujah! Can we give a wave of thank you this evening? God has been so good. He's a good, good father. Come on! My God, my God, my God! Woo!
never be defeated. I'm a champion. So you can never be defeated. You can never be defeated. You can never be defeated. You're a champion. some of them but before that we want to ask you to please please be seated we want to ask you to send your praise reports to the following um, addresses on your screen don't hold back what God has done for you please share them with us so we can you know read it out to everyone hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah so we have this wonderful praise report from sister Gloria Shegun Lee she said her, her son has been experiencing stomach ache for about a year now and it had been consistent. But during the last 12 days of glory, on the last day of the, la of the last 12 days of glory, her son was supposed to travel because he was scheduled to go back to school on that same day. But as God will have it, they canceled his flight. So he was in church on the last day. And our senior pastors gave a word, a word of testimony, that there's someone in this service that had that same stomach pain. Yeah. And as he released the word, her son got, received that word and got his healing. Wow. And immediately after the service, she, he ran, she ran to meet his mom and excited, saying, I received that word. My brothers and sisters in Christ. Hallelujah. From that time till now, Glory no God. more report of that stomach pain. Hallelujah. 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 By reason of that word, as we step into the 12 days of glory, is an atmosphere where Anybody is healed of anything. Hallelujah. 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 So we're going to rise up now and be taking some bi our Bible reading and some confessions. Exodus 23, 25 in the NIV version. It says, worship the Lord your God and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Amen. Malachi 4, verse 2, the NIV version also says, but for you who revere my name, the son of righteousness Hallelujah. will rise with healing in its rays. Yeah. And you will go out and frolic like well fed calves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we take this confession together? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, for the privilege to worship privilege you. To worship Thank, you Lord, Thank you, Lord, for the covenant of health the covenant that of is at work in my life. I have no sickness or disease because of my connection to you. The son of righteousness has risen upon me with healing in his wings. My health springs forth speedily. I decree and declare that every part of my body, both internal and external organs, functions at their best. In the name of Jesus, I declare that only the counsel of God Almighty concerning my health shall stand. In the name of Jesus, let's raise our voices as we pray in tongues. Hey, 
Because I serve the Lord my God, He has taken sicknesses and diseases away from me. Masete ketalia dosa ta handa la da bos ikaya gaga 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 gaba kazete meisando sete kia dosa ta la la ba ha ma gaga 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 gaba kazete manila ba sete gaga 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 gaba kazete ikata brega sote gaga ila braga sekete brega zoto gaga ikata braga zata la la ba ya. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Can we give a Lord a shout of praise tonight? Hallelujah. I want to use this opportunity to testify the goodness of God upon my life and my family. Indeed, I'm a blessed son in the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, and I'm a proof to the pastor and mommy this ministry. God has done so much for me and my family in the year 2020. What man can never do, what anybody can never do for anyone, God did it for me in a miraculous way. In the year 2020, yeah, we have a lot of expectation, me and my wife. But lockdown came, everything was standstill. What I really want to thank God for, that God really do a marvelous thing in our life. All through the pandemic, no event, no wedding, no ceremony. I was at home throughout. But immediately after the pandemic, God is showing himself in my life gradually. In the year 2019, Pastor told us that we should wrote all our expectations in year 2020 down in a book. This is the book that I wrote everything that I want God to do in my life in year 2020. I put everything. Pastor wrote it as a dream, keep, dream keeper. I, I said I want a studio and office in year 2020. I said I want to buy a land in Abuja in year 2020. I said in year 2020, I want to give birth to a baby girl. Again, I said, I want to make a million in year 2020. I said, I want God to give me a better car in year 2020. Everything I wrote in the book comes to pass. During the pandemic, 
where there was no result, nothing, no work for me, not everything was casted. I started to be thinking of what to do. There's a program that the pastor was doing that time. It was uh, Elevate with PB. I, I wanted to join media people that work in the church, but uh, my HOD told me that uh, there was a uh, um, street on the people and I could not join. My wife encouraged me. She told me that uh, I should not worry, that uh, God sees my heart, that uh, I would be a partaker of the blessing of the program. That's how God did it. After three days, I received a call, and it was a call of the, a man in Abuja. The PA called me that, uh, Alaji told me that I should be ready in the morning, that I'm going to travel with them. On faithful morning, they picked me up, and we went to the airport. From the airport, we traveled out of the Abuja. When we came back after three to four days, no, five days, after we came back, the, I, I thought as usual, maybe he would just give me a stipend, what, how he used to be giving to me. And when I went to greet him, I just say, Alaji, I'm leaving. He just said, ah, um, in PA should give me the envelope. In PA give me the envelope, envelope. I see the money that I've never received in my life before. My father retired as a commissioner of police. The money he made in 35 years, I made it within a week. After I gave me to the envelope, I saw the dollar inside, thousand of dollars. I started texting him, appreciating him for his love and for kindness. And he called me, in PA called me that I just said I should come to the office. He gave me another envelope. He said, this is, this one is for me, for you. Just, he gave it to me that I should keep it, I should keep it. I thank him. When I opened the envelope after I come down from his office, I see thousands of dollars again. After the money, after how I collect the money, I change, I change the money. That's how God started doing the miracle thing. I look for the office. I look for the space. We paid, we renovate. We started, we started putting everything in order. When people say cast it down, that's where we say lifting up. Indeed, God has done so much for us. I just want to use the opportunity to thank God and bless God for what God has done in our lives. And I want to say thank you to Mommy and Pastor for your love and for your prayer in our life and our family. I want to say thank you once again. God bless you. God will continue. Oh! 
All his promises are yes. Every promise is a Everyone that is spoken to you. precious name that we got a lot of praise reports here that we're going to be sharing tonight let's have our seats in god's presence we're going to be taking this praise report it's actually going to be shared as anonymous maybe by the time you hear what it contains hallelujah now this person has this to testify he said i had a need to raise a hundred million naira at the end of march 2020 being the second trench of payment for a project I had started in December 2019. I didn't know where this money was going to come from, but what happened was that I happened to be on the day two of the 12 Days of Glory 2020. That was our covenant day of wealth. While in that service, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 was declared and was used as a scripture for praying. He said, I immediately, at the end of that scripture, had it harvest of a hundred million as he quoted the scripture he added it harvest of a hundred million so he also wrote that down on his testimony card he said a few days later i was awoken at 3 a.m in the morning and when i woke up in that night i just suddenly realized and saw myself recording my testimony i took off my phone i was i started recording my testimony after that experience i was so amazed and i had to call up a leader in church and asked is it possible for you to testify before the testimony starts to manifest? He said that was a strange thing that happened to me. And then he said just a few days later, having experienced that, he said somebody just looked at his wife and gifted the wife a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, maybe you're not excited about that. He said it came as a gift to the wife. I don't know how many sisters here are trusting over somebody for something like that. Let me hear your amen tonight. He said, as if that was not enough, well, my wife, for who she was, just pulled out her tight and handed over the remaining amount to me to add to our project. And he said, just a few days later, why was still trusting God for the remaining amount? He now just suddenly received another alert. Now, I'm going to hold on on that. Now, a year before then, something had happened. He stood as a guarantor on behalf of another company and then a volume of $200,000 was withdrawn from his account. In fact, he didn't even get to know that that amount was withdrawn. But now he needed that money for that project which he needed to do in 2020. While he was just still trusting God, he just suddenly received an alert on his phone that the amount of $200,000 has been paid into his account. While he was just still wondering, where did that money come from? He received a call from his bankers and said, okay, sir, you actually stood as a guarantor for this company a year before. Now, that term of guarantee is over. The person you stood for has paid up. We needed to return this money back to you. <laughs> Talking about the money coming around in time and on time. For somebody here, whatever you desire, at the time you desire it, it will come to you suddenly in the name of the Lord Jesus. Can I hear a resounding amen tonight? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The blessing of the Lord. 
makes one rich. Amen. And he adds no sorrow with it. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to be taking another scripture from Genesis 13 verse 2. Still NKJV. Genesis 13 verse 2. Abraham was very rich. Hallelujah. In livestock, in silver, Amen. and in gold. Hallelujah. Praise God. Somebody lift up those hands and declare with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. That's what everybody say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank because you. Because the blessing of the Lord is heavy upon me. It's heavy upon my life. Therefore, I am rich. Therefore, I have no sorrow added to me. I decree and declare that the grace of God that makes one rich is heavy upon me. In the name of Jesus, I am rich. I walk into high finances. I walk into unexplainable finances. In the name of Jesus, inexplainable finances come to me. In the name of Jesus, money means money. Money in, my hand. in my hand, in the name of in Jesus, name of Jesus. In, this year, in this year and beyond, and beyond. I know no I like know uh, high finance. I, I proclaim Marata Baba Rosete Bayade, Eshate Brato Ne Makadora, Elibra Te Ne Magadote, Eshata Kalabayende Peroni, Libra Boko Sute Ne Magada, Komo Tonda To Pawa Tonight, Shida Bari Atene Melebeleoni. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Can we shout amen? amen. Can you shout amen? amen? Can you shout a believing, receiving amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your hands and give him glory. I want you to make mention of what the Lord has done for you in 2020. Make mention of everything that the Lord did for you in 2020. Come on, open your mouth and make mention. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Raka Santa ya ba 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 ba. Reke seke teke ba handa da 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 ba. Raka Santa ya ba 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 ba. Raka Santa le bo shagate. Le ge 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 ba 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 ka Santa. Man da 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 da. Begin to make mention. What did the Lord do in 2020? Kaso taya baba baka sante. Malaga baba baba kaso taya braga sante. Ra 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 in Jesus name father thank you we all gather tonight to say thank you I don't know about you but I didn't come to ask for anything but to say thank you. With our hands lifted high, when the world wonders why, all we have to say is, Lord, thank you. I wish we had something better to say. But thank you, Jesus. If we had 10,000 tongues, Kasataya Baba Baka Santele Bo Shataya Baba Baba.
Raka sante le braga sata ya baba baka sante. Kola gabogo sante le brogo shanta ya baba 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 baba. Raka sota ya baba 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 baba. Rege de sante le brogo sante ya baba 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 baba. Shanda da 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 da. If it had not been for the Lord that was on our side. Let Koza say, if, if he had not been for the Lord that was on our side in 2020, what would we be saying now? What will you be saying now? Thank you, Lord. 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 Father, literally all over the world, people have died. People are homeless. People are jobless. Literally all over the world, the world stood still. You were the only one moving. You were the only one making things happen. Father, we don't want to gloss over it. We don't want to act like it's normal. Thank you for all that you did for, the, for us in the year 2020. Can you lift your voice and say, Father, thank you for all you did in the year 2020. Sometimes I can't even say thank you in English. I just have to say it in tongues. Raka Santele Bobo Sotaya Baba Baba Baka Sataya Baba Karaga Sotele Bo Shataya Baba Raka Santele Baba 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 Masatole Braga Santaya Baba Baba Raga Santaya Baba 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 Oh can you lift your voice tonight and say thank you Lord Thank you Lord Thank you Lord song will not do but I can lift my voice and say thank you Lord maybe another song will not make it happen maybe I can just lift my voice and say thank you Lord heaven is waiting on you heaven is waiting on you to say thank you Oh, thank you, Lord. Fill this room with worship. Fill this room with worship. Fill this room with worship.
you profit from the year 2020? No way. Hallelujah. I'll forget what. Say no way, no way. No way. Can we call the name of the Lord tonight? Hey. To Kwama, hey. The reason why God kept Koza is basically because God is not done with us, not through with us. There is still an exploit yet to be done. And as the year unfolded, we began to see the word sent to us that night come alive. It was so real that we knew that God had walked through the year 2020 ever before it started. That there is a terrorist that will manipulate the system of God's people is going to 
discourage somebody who was doing well and then the person will return and will not believe in covenant practice anymore if you will he will not believe in tithing anymore he will not believe in prayers anymore Jesus Christ when he was leaving he said when I come back he didn't say will I meet church he didn't say will I meet music he said will I meet faith because he knows that there will be somebody which has been described here that will infiltrate the system and they will talk intelligently and the intelligent ones also who relate to things from their mind will start dropping their kingdom weapons little did we know that the terrorist was a virus attack on the earth which was later declared a pandemic named COVID-19 our senior pastor inspired by God went on to give a clear picture of what will happen in 2020 in the days of Shamga, Shamga was a terrorist. He terrorized Israel. Nobody could go out. Kids could not play outside. Market days, people went to market in, in fear and trembling. But the Bible says in the days of Shamga, the son of Enoch, in the days of Jahel, Jahel was a terrorist that terrorized Israel. They forgot about the covenant. They were afraid to take steps. They were afraid to make moves. You said something, they will attack you. They were moving convoy to, to silence you. The Bible says the highways were deserted. And the travelers walked along the byways until I. The Bible says the villagers, the village life ceased. It ceased in Israel. Then I rose. I arose as a mother in Israel. So this does not exempt ladies. This does not see. Gender doesn't count here. Age do not count. The darkness shall cover them. I just read to you in Daniel 11, the darkness that is about to come. He said, darkness will cover the earth. The last time darkness covered the earth, they only covered the face of the deep. But this one will cover people, cover doctors, cover professors, cover people that you cut my intelligence. But before it ever hit the world, God had sent a word. Those who know their God in the middle of that will be strong and they will carry out experience. Our Father released God ordained words upon us that went ahead to protect us from the pestilence that will bring the world to an abrupt halt. The Lord will keep you. In every generation, God has a remnant. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who you are. I lay my hands on you in the spirit and I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every strategy, stratagem, and skill of the enemy will never work on you. By the prophetic push, you are ahead of every strategy of the enemy. If you believe it, let me hear a loud amen somebody. He gave us a charge to do exploits in 2020. In 2020, if you're not doing exploit for God, you'll be exploited. Putting weapons in our hands that we should go ahead and establish the victory that Jesus had purchased for us because the time for exploits signifies warfare. That night, the Reverend Biodun Fatoimbo told us This is the season where you cannot be ignored. And true to it, we went for uncommon, unconventional, daring and great accomplishments in the midst of the pandemic. The words entered our spirits. People will wonder, in the middle of that, in the middle of all those things happening, you will not feel it. You will not feel it. They're like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bearing your fruits in your season. Whose leaves do not wither? Who are these? Did you see that it's plural? The Bible says, the children the Lord has given to me, I and them, we are all, we, not some, we. There's a corporate grace. There's a corporate grace. People thought it's over. People thought you've done all. But get ready, get ready. The little ones are coming from you. The small one, the strong nation. Guess what? I, the Lord, will hasten it. And it's time. And we began running with the speed of the Spirit. We birthed the Kozo Center Point, Warimpa Campus just before the lockdown of the entire nation of Nigeria. There was a lockdown, but because of the words we had heard at the crossover service, it was time to rise up 
And so we began Elevate with PB, a daily faith building program that ensured that faith didn't go down in our time. We went on to be a blessing to our world as we reached out to communities and supported the government with medical items through the Koza Care Foundation. Despite the news around us, we held on to the prophecies from the 2020 crossover service and nothing stopped us. The Koza 7 Days of Glory 2020 conference and Koza Refresh had tens of thousands participate virtually across the globe with mouth opening testimonies that tell us that 2020 was really designed for us by God for unprecedented exploits. While it looked like nothing was going on and everyone was forced to be on the spot, these declarations from our senior pastor jumped into existence. The ones you have never done before, the ones you've never seen before, the ones your hands have never touched before, the ones your minds, natural minds have never conceived before, End time to it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Koza TV was born on Intelsat 20 and watched across many countries in Africa. When the government announced the reopening of churches, being fully equipped, we immediately flung our doors open across all Koza installations. We give God glory that not one case of COVID-19 was reported as a result of our physical services. After a short while, Kusa Guzape Campus evolved into three destiny-defining services and Kusa Center Point Campus into two electrifying services. But God wasn't done with us yet. The Kusa Global Workers Congress saw delegates from all campuses within Nigeria Converge at the Koza Auditorium, Abuja, for the moment that will change the trajectory of the impact of Koza in the remaining months of the year of unprecedented exploits. While many looked forward to the ending of the year but not with excitement, Koza had a phenomenal time in the month of December, starting with the December edition of Koza Refresh. Then we have the 2020 COSA Partners Importation Service, the Grand Praise and Thanksgiving Service, and the annual Jesus Paid It All giveaway, powered by the COSA Care Foundation. All through 2020, God graciously backed up the words of our senior pastor, which he declared in the early hours of the year 2020. Let oil be upon Asha. Let our feet be dug into oil. In the name of Jesus, let there be a straight path for your feet to walk. May you not walk on the broken road. May the Lord teach you to profit and lead you the way you should go. You will know what to do. In the morning of 2020, you prosper. In the afternoon, you will do well. At the night time, you will do well. I pray that in health, you will do your exploit. In well-being, you will do your exploit. You will not be sick. Not a day in 2020 will you be admitted. You will not die in the name of Jesus. You are your loved ones. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. You are covered in the blood of Jesus. You will not be sick one day. Receive supernatural health. In the name of Jesus. Your strength will not fail. Your strength will not be abated. In the name of Jesus. You go conquering and to conquer. You climb the mountains and you will not be tired. You will run and you will not be weary. You will be 10 times stronger than you used to be 10 years ago. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord increase you a thousand times more. In the name of Jesus. We can't deny the goodness of God to us in Koza. We have lived in abundance and swam in health in a world that experienced the global pandemic that it wasn't prepared for. As we journeyed into 2020, God sent his word with precision and exactitude through our senior pastor, the Reverend Biodun Fato Imbo. We believed the word and there was a performance of the word. 
Now get ready to receive the word that will frame your 2021 according to God's plan for your destiny. We celebrate you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him praise. Lift your hands and give him glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Desire is a key. Is the Lord Messiah? You are the King of Kings. Messiah, Lord. One more time, Messiah. He's the King. because of who you are thank you because even in the midst of our faithfulness you remain faithful we love you but Lord we acknowledge publicly that we don't even love you like you do like you love us we'll only love you because you first loved us we honor you David was so confident he said to you he said praise that way to you Zion for all you've done, Lord, we appreciate you. We exalt you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, thank you. Two more times. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Glory be to God. We say thank you, Lord, for everything. From your heart, loud and clear for the last time. Hallelujah. 
Shadi Bala Bagarota Anybody here grateful to God? You know, a lot of people get emotional today, but emotions are not real. I needed to flip to Thanksgiving. That is what matters. That is what will change your life. So we're just going to do one crazy Thanksgiving before I give you the word. And I'm sure you know the song I'm going to sing. Sambira Jehovah. Is that how you're going to dance? For 2020. Thank you for 2020. one for me, okay? Do you give me that thing? Just do this one for me. Can you swing your hand and tip in the air? You are still posing, you are still posing.
Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your hands to the owner of the earth. Lift your hands up to the owner of the earth. And just exalt him. Say something lovely to him. Say something beautiful to him. Say something beautiful to him. Oh, Shadi Daniel, we give you all the glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands, somebody. Just worship it. we worship you from now till tomorrow you can't stand near how good you've been to us except you're pretending you've been so good we ascribe all greatness to you we declare that you're our rock and everything that we are everything we have belongs to you there is any nice thing anyone has to see about us is because of you we're nothing without you and therefore tonight we return all the glory to you search around this place if there's anyone we're holding back take it it belongs to you father we're trusting you we thank you for the word in 2019 into 2020 thank you for its accuracy thank you for its exact its exactitude since you inspired the writing of the word inspired the teaching and the hearing again today do beyond what you did before because the glory of the latter surpasses the former thank you lord in jesus precious name Oh, come on. Let's give him the highest praise. Be deliberate about it. Let's give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter number 28. I want to read to you from the 23rd verse. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the 28th verse. Please, whatever you've not done, stop doing it. And I would like not to repeat this instruction. Just stay where you are. Thank you very much. In Deuteronomy 28 and verse 23, the Bible says, And your heavens, which are over your head, shall be bronze. That will not be your portion. And the earth, which is under you, shall be iron. This is when the Lord was speaking to the children of Israel and he was telling them about 
the benefits of serving the Lord. And it gets to a level, he starts to talk to them about the blessings. And it gets to a level, he starts to tell them about what they will encounter if they didn't do his word. And he begins to share with us a reality that I want you to think about. He says it's possible, if you look at the KJV, because your heaven may just look like, you know, something else. It gets to a point, it says, thy heaven. The one is, that is over thy head. So there is a macro heaven and there's a micro heaven. I wanted to listen to me very, very close tonight because I've got a word from the Lord for you. It says, thy heaven, which is upon thy head. So you could be in an atmosphere like in a city and they have open heavens in the city. I flew to a country in 2002 to minister and I went with a friend of mine who is also a pastor. We began praying in the room uh, when we got there and I said to him, don't you see that as we just started praying, we started feeling the presence of God. He said, oh, I felt it too. Because the heavens over that atmosphere is open. There are places you go to, you pray. <laughs> and you find it very tough. Jesus got to his hometown and could not. Not that he did not want to do miracles. He could not do one single miracle in his village. And Bible says unbelief was in charge. But what did the unbelief do? The unbelief shut down the heavens over them. It was a general thing. So there are places you go to, the thing opens. Sometimes it's the family heavens that is closed. Please don't quickly judge me. Follow me as I teach you tonight. Sometimes it's family. Sometimes it's in your profession. In that particular career, nobody's head has been lifted up. Sometimes it's, uh, a, 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 it's maybe a male of that family. The females are doing well. Maybe the firstborns. Some things are happening. So, I want you to know that the Bible, God says, even though we're no longer in the Old Testament, and that's not our portion, but in the middle of what he was talking about, he showed us a revelation that it's possible for you to be in a place and the heaven over you, personally, will just be short. And in case you didn't know, it was an agrarian society, where what determined their wealth was the agriculture. He said their ground becomes brass. What will you plant on brass that will grow? What will never flourish? So it's a, a situation that people worked hard and they didn't get results. They planted, planted like other people. They discovered that the land was fertile. They got there. The land was luscious. They got there. By the time they did what they were supposed to do, their results was, was, was not commensurate. But if you, if you don't forget anything I'm going to tell you today, this is one thing I don't want you to forget because we're going to be talking about it a lot. There is a macro heaven that you see that, oh, generally it's happening like this. In the world, in your nation, in your continent, in your, in your, in your family, in your village, there is something you know, people that come from this area cannot penetrate this. People with the color of skin, of this kind of skin, can't penetrate. There's a macro one. And there's a micro one that you could be in the middle of plenty, but something's just wrong with that individual. But the good news I have for you is that no matter where you find yourself, God will open your micro heaven. Amen. Can I hear your email like thunder? Amen. Are you here today? You are serious about fulfilling destiny? You need to listen to me close because there's no way you can really fulfill destiny and flourish the way God has actually orchestrated or planned or pre-planned for you to flourish until your heaven is open. <laughs> until your heaven is open. In fact, God, the way he endorsed Jesus was that the heaven opened. And said, this is my beloved son. And people heard the voice from heaven. Jesus Christ wanted to perform a miracle. He looked up and said, Ephata. Open is the code of a believer. I command in the name of Jesus. I came here tonight as a commander. And I command tonight in the name of Jesus. Every legal blockade in your life. Let them fling open tonight. Somebody in this place you will just take cognizance. 
that after tonight, they start giving you some strange phone calls. Where they've said no to you before they start calling you back. If you believe it, shout amen like thunder. If you believe it, let me hear your amen roar like thunder. If you are serious in fulfilling destiny, that you are not going to marry the wrong people, you are not going to live in the wrong city, you are not going to find yourself doing the wrong jobs, you want to actually, because destiny means destination, which means there's a, de there's a journey. Sometimes when you don't, when you're operating under this kind of situation I'm talking to you about, you just want to be anywhere, hang out with anybody, do anything because of the frustration. But today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every frustration the adversary has put on your way, let it expire tonight. Let it expire tonight. In the name of Jesus. In Isaiah 64 and verse 1. Isaiah 64 and verse 1. Now I'm building up like a lawyer, so follow me. The Bible says, oh, that you will tear heavens. So there were people going through some things and they sensed that there was no contact, there was no flow. And this person who is a prophet said, listen, God, all you need to do for things to change for us now is for you to tear heaven. That you may rend heaven. That you would come down. That the mountains might shake at your presence. Number one, if you tear heaven, we will feel your presence. And when we feel your presence, mountains have no chance. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, tonight, every mountain that has been standing on your way, in the name of Jesus, at his presence, let them give way. Somebody you ought to be receiving with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. But I don't know what is wrong with you. I said tonight, let every mountain in your life give way. In the name of Jesus. Let me announce to you, they have no choice tonight. The Bible says as soon as they hear from me, they will obey me. So I am not speaking as a man. I'm speaking as a representative of God tonight. I command every mountain in your life, no matter how small they are, tonight they give way in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Who is that mountain before Zerubbabel? Even in the Old Testament, see, the Bible says, it shall be made plain. Therefore, anything standing on your way of miracle, anything standing between you and the will of God, they give way right now by fire. If you believe, let me hear you roar like thunder. The macro heaven in the place may be closed. A family, you just notice nobody's getting married. You just notice nobody lives above 45. You notice that people start, listen, if you are prospering right now, and you're a billionaire, it doesn't bother the devil. As long as he ensures that you die poor. And if you watch it, for somebody listening to me very close, Maybe you've noticed that that's been the way it's been. That people just, you know, they do well, but they end up begging some few months till they die. Ah, yeah, you've come to the right place. The devil has missed it for allowing you to show up here. In the name of Jesus, that evil cloud tears up upon your head. In the name of Jesus. When somebody is in the description I, I described to you in Deuteronomy 28, that God himself described that can happen to an individual. He said, thy heaven. The one over thy head. <laughs> the Bible says two people shall stand in those days. One will be taken and one will remain. Don't think because we live in the same neighborhood, the same things will happen to us. Don't think because we came out of the same womb, the same things will happen to us. Don't think because we did the same course and we, we run, we, we operate the same career that when you are saying casting down, that I will say casting down. Don't think so. Because there's an heaven over thy head. God said it. <laughs> In the name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, enter into a new face. This service will not pass. Until every evil happens in your life expires. If you believe it, let me hear you roar amen like thunder. When someone is operating in this situation, nothing will work when it is closed. Nothing. 
In fact, when people meet them, they like them. When this situation is going on, they, those people don't even know why. They just switch. They just think, ah, why is it disturbing me now? Yes, I promise. So what? They get infuriated. Or somebody close to them. Or something will just happen. Something will just happen. <laughs> There's a young man who came here and he asked for help. Immediately I saw him. I wanted to help him. And I told him, don't worry. After 12 days of glory, just attend. I will see. And immediately after the, the days of glory, I picked him and I went downstairs with him. As I was going downstairs, somebody who knew him and knew something that he was about to do just called me and told me. So I confronted him. I said, ah, ah, did I offend you? But uh, this, 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 I wanted to help you. The guy broke down and started shouting. Ah, they've come again. Every time someone wants to help me, at the nick of helping me, something, somebody, something, I prophesy to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, whatever it is that is standing as an impediment has expired tonight. Listen to me, I said, as soon as they hear from me, they will obey me. I command wherever they are hiding, I say they bow before you tonight. If you believe it, let me hear your email like thunder. When you're operating under this kind of situation, you see that you don't have new achievements. You may still be solid, but once in a while you notice that huh, something new has not come on. It's past benevolence giving rise to Laodicean boasting. Number three, you experience spiritual dryness. You are reading your Bible, you are sleeping. You are praying. <laughs> you sleep up. Because they've gone to your source and disconnected you. <laughs> Expectations are cut off if someone is living in this address. If someone is living in this address, there's scarcity of testimonies. They're the ones that during the testimony time, they say, ah, have they really checked? Did they verify that testimony? You know why? Because they, they don't experience anything like that in their own life. When someone is in this address, they start attracting the wrong people. Wrong people always hang around them. Not only those who ask them out or those they ask out. Their driver is wrong. Their PA is wrong. Every, they are just attracting wrong people. Because this thing is upon them and there is no flow from heaven. When someone is living in this address, there are lack of ideas. They are just empty. They are just shut down. When normally they, they are sleeping, ideas come, they are having ideas come, but now there's a struggle. Even when they have ideas, they're only excited about it for a few hours. They are no longer excited about it the next day. They are confused. Maybe they even have money. They just don't even know what to do. Every time they try to take steps, it's as if they are running on a spot. When someone is operating under this kind of terrible atmosphere that will never follow anybody home, in this place, they are so unmotivated. They wake up, they don't even want to get out of bed. It's, it's part of what I'm saying. Poverty is the emblem of this thing I'm describing. Eventually, no matter how much you have, poverty is the end of this thing I'm describing. Then when someone is operating under this kind of terrible thing, they are operating under consistent disappointment. Therefore, I stand here as a servant of the Lord and I prophesy because in the beginning it was not so. Therefore, I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus, every dryness is over in your life. Every consistent disappointment is torn in pieces. Let every power assigned to keep you in this address, let them catch fire right now. If you believe it, shout amen like thunder. did not experience this. For Adam, even though he lived on earth, it was the exact experience as though he was in heaven. The Bible says God left every worship in heaven to be with Adam every cool of the day. Every single day in the cool of the day. And what was in the presence of the Lord was what God brought to him. Did you notice that Adam did not have a season? 
Adam didn't, didn't have dry season, wet season, rain, cold, winter. Every season, Adam had something to eat. There was no dryness. That was why when the last Adam came, the Bible says this was not time for figs. And he said, figs, I asked for food because Genesis 1.29 I told Genesis 2.29, I beg your pardon. I told Genesis 1.29. I told the, the Adam, he said, see, I have given every, I've given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of the earth. Every tree whose fruit yields seed to you, it shall be food. The Bible says there was no rain at the time of Adam. The Bible says a mist blew a wind to water the garden. It was only in Genesis 8. Now the Bible starts to talk about seasons after the flood of Noah. So Jesus Christ operated on earth as though he was in heaven. He did not recognize any lack. He raised the dead of four days. He multiplied bread because there's no lack in heaven. They told him to pay tax. He told Peter, go into, into, into the water. The first fish you catch, you're going to see money in his mouth. He operated like he was on, on another heaven. Under another heaven. Bible says the Holy Ghost was given to him without measure. It was unlimited. They couldn't catch him. Do you know how many times they tried to kill Jesus before he went to the cross? Many times they, they led him to the cliff of the mountain to push him down. And he followed them. But suddenly as they got to the head of the, of the mountain, he, he unlocked a certain power. And turned in the middle of them and walked home. And all of them were just discussing, so how is politics? Uh, so uh, what, what is going on? If that is true, from today, you are indestructible. Every oppression in your sleep has expired. Whoever lifts up a finger to be against you in 2021, that hand will wither. If you believe it, shout hallelujah somebody. In Matthew 19 and verse 8, Matthew 19 and verse 8, Jesus was asked the question that, you know, uh, the, the Moses permitted us to divorce. And he said to them, Moses permitted you to discuss divorce because of the hardness of your heart. He permitted you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. Jesus Christ came to recalibrate us. He said from the beginning, I am here to bring you back to the beginning and it will give you a better life. Listen, don't get used to this. That you are sleeping in the middle of the night and someone is calling your name and you can't shout Jesus. Someone is pressing you. You feel every weight on you. You have this headache like there's a load over your head. This afternoon, I was preparing for this service and the Lord showed me a few people. I was shocked. I'd never heard about it before. You are, every day as if rain is falling on you and there's no rain. God said to tell you, as I am preaching, and I reiterate what he said. As I am preaching, you will never find it again. Amen. For he sent his word and is what delivered them. What kind of thing is that? I've never heard it before. That you are physically on the earth and you are feeling like there's rain falling on you and there's no rain. I don't know whether you're watching me on the internet. The Lord spoke to me about you. And I prophesied that as I'm speaking right now. Right now, let that thing be torn into pieces. If you believe it, I wanted to shout amen with me, somebody. What gives me the audacity? Because in the beginning, it was not so. It was not so that you'll be operating on earth. He said, I will never leave you comfortless. The Amplified Version says, I will never leave you an orphan. God did not leave you on earth in a limbo. He left you here as God's family on earth. Paul says for this course, I bow down my knees to the father of the Lord Jesus Christ in whose name the family in heaven and the one in earth is named. It's one family. It's one family. You are not supposed to be here and be locked in into this system. You're supposed to operate here as though you're connected to heaven. That was the program of God for you and I from the beginning. There was no lack in heaven. Adam did not have any lack. Every single thing. That's why Dr. Miles Moreau will tell you, if you want to know the will of God concerning anything, ask three questions. How was it in Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, before the fall of man? If you saw it there, 
And then how did Jesus relate to it? If you saw it like that, then how will it be in heaven? If you see anything that happened in those three phases, that is the will of God for you now. Now. Because everything you see after Genesis 3 was a repair. God trying to just make things well for you. That was not the plan of God from the beginning. That you will invest in a business and it will go down. Before Genesis 3, Adam did not plant and the thing brought out thorns. No, no way. Even he was sucking oranges, the seed fell down, became a tree instantly. No luck. No terrible animal. Everything honored him. From today. In the name of Jesus. Receive honor. I said receive honor. You know the best way I can describe honor to you. Was when I took my wife's car. This car was very unique. Very lovely. And I drove to a place in Wuse, Wuse 2. And while I was waiting for the traffic warden to pass me. I just heard a sound behind me. Ah, a screech of a car. Trying to struggle not to hit me. I had an SUV beside me. In those days, the sequoia of those days was very new. And I was driving a Toyota, but very nice. This guy screeched and avoided hitting me. I went to hit a more expensive car. When I heard the knock behind, I said, what will I tell my wife? My wife loves this car. The color was so unique, we couldn't get the paint in Nigeria. I said, what am I going to tell my wife? I thought he hit me. I came down. I found out that he came from my back and went to hit the other car. And then he started begging the man with the SUV. The man said, I have a problem with you. And the problem I have with you is that this is a cheaper car. And you are coming straight there. Why did you turn to me? I got into my car and the Lord said to me, that was honor. I won't even let it touch you here. I prophesy to you, your head will never lack honor. If you believe it, bend your head to the back and shout amen somebody. Did you hear the testimony of that daughter of the house? That arm robbers went everywhere in her estate but her house. Shouldn't they be suspecting her? That she was part of the plot? In the name of Jesus. Enter into unexplainable victory. Unexplainable victory. Unexplainable victory. In the name of Jesus. In Colossians 1.20, I want to show you a word here. I learned about this scripture 21 years ago and it changed my life. The Bible says in Colossians 1.20, and by him, that's Jesus. The Bible says God reconciled all things to himself. And by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Let me tell you what the Bible says here. Let's read the NIV, NIV of verse 20. And through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, making peace through the blood and the shed of, it, of the cross. What God did, what Jesus came to do, was to reconcile the things in heaven with the things on earth. That's what he came to do. To reconcile those things in heaven and reconcile it back to the earth. Now, look at me everybody. I wish I had time. I would have walked in into the hall and asked for accountants and asked them the meaning of reconciliation statement. Reconciliation statement is for you to bring the, make sure that the things in the debit is balanced with the things in the credit. So anything we see in the debit must reflect in the credit. Everything we see in the credit must reflect in the debit. So when we see something in heaven, it must reflect. Come on, talk to me. It must, that's reconciliation. It must be the same. The same. Come on, talk to me. The same. That's the meaning of reconciliation. When I tell you I want to reconcile with you, we need to be on the same page. We are thinking the same. We are sorted. We are thinking the same. I, I'm not just thinking, oh, we're, we're cool. And you are not thinking we're cool. For me to say, oh, now we're now reconciled. I'm trying to say, both of us have agreed that we're now cool. God says Jesus came to the face of the earth to make her cool with heaven. 
Someone say same thing. Same thing. Come on, say same thing. I'm not enjoying you tonight. Say same thing. Same thing. Pastor, you know, how can you say that? Some of the scriptures are meant for when we get to heaven. No way. The Bible says, whoever leave mother, father, uh, everything for the sake of Jesus and the gospels shall in this world reap a hundredfold and in the world to come. So there's a benefit of the world, of, of benefits in this world and the world to come. The Bible says physical exercise profits little. But the Bible says godliness profits much. Having the promise for the life that now is. And the life that is to come. So this life is the life that now is. And the life that is to come. Now listen. In the dispensation of law. There were a remnant of people that lived in grace. In the dispensation of promise. Uh, beg your pardon. Innocence. There were people that lived like they were in promise. The Bible says by faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice. And his blood even still speaks. And God came to defend him like he was in covenant with God. God will have a remnant that will taste of the shadow before it comes. If it doesn't make you walk in faith with it, the real can't come. That was why Abraham rejoiced to see the day of Jesus. David did not live like he was in law. What did Saul do now? What, to, what did Saul do? Saul just sacrificed. David did not just sacrifice. David wore the ephod of a priest in 1 Samuel 30. And he was not a priest. He wore the garment and inquired of the Lord. And nothing happened to him. David ate the bread on the altar of God. And nothing happened to him. Why? Because it was supposed to be the representative of grace to foretaste it. If the shadow doesn't come, the real cannot come. So for heaven to come, some people on this earth will need, come on, to taste heaven here. You can mark your script yourself and see what has been wrong with you all the while. Nobody is fully there. We're walking towards perfection. We're learning this thing. But this is the truth. Jesus came to reconcile. And he gave us an example when he was here. He walked on earth as though he was in heaven. He walked on water. Pastor Bionu, can you do that? You build your faith to that level. He did it. Peter walked on water. He, he, he suspended the natural laws. Because that was what you and I were made for from the beginning. That was what we were made for. This is not Pastor Bionu's doctrine. This is not a Koza thing. This is not uh, a new thing. This was what he made us for from the beginning. To reconcile everything. So when he showed up, you know what he did? In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 10. He was teaching them how to pray. And he said this must be in your daily confession. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. He says your kingdom come. Because the kingdom was taken from Adam. And was given to the devil. I came to bring back the kingdom. That's why I came. That's why when I came, if you notice my message, I am telling you the kingdom of God is now here. At hand means here. It's now here. Because Adam transferred the kingdom to the devil. And the war system started. But I showed up as the last Adam to come and take it. And so I need you guys to stand with me in prayer. Thy kingdom come. Look at verse 10. And when the kingdom comes, what happens? Thy will be done. Where? As what? Come on. What's going on? What's going on? Somebody say, as it is. So the way it is on the debit, that is how it's supposed to be on the credit. As it is. As it is. So it is possible that you build your faith. You see, Enoch walked with God to the point that he was not. He didn't die. He just moved to eternity by walking with God. There's a way you take your walk with God and tap into your covenant that by the time you have grown old and you, you've gone to eternity, when you get to heaven, not, not many things will surprise you. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. I will, the Bible says Paul was praying and he was caught up to the third heavens. 
and had words that mere words were not mere men were not supposed to hear. That was a level he built up his, his relationship with God with. He lived on earth as though. Do you know Apostle Paul was stoned many times? And they put their hair on his chest, checked his paws, and found out that he was dead. But he resurrected back. Many times, not once. Many times. He was in many shipwrecks. He resurrected. Not that he didn't die. He died. But he opened his eyes. When Apostle Paul was going to die, he had to release himself. He said, I've fought the good fight. I've finished my work. Now I can go. Simeon in the temple had to release himself. Say, my eyes have seen the glory. Now I can depart. There were people that walked with God to a level. The natural was suspended. <laughs> I prophesy to you. By the grace of God, that is the dimension you are going this year. Heaven will not be closed over you. I said heaven will not be closed over you. Before you call for help, in the name of Jesus, help will land. Jacob put up his head in Genesis 28, put his head on a stone and heaven opened. You know what he saw? He saw angels ascending and descending upon a certain ladder. And he said, wow. He said, ha, this is surely the house of God and the gate of heaven. And Jesus said, you know the way that angel was ascending and descending? He said, Nathaniel, because I mentioned and said some things about you, he said, you are tripping for me. He said, very soon in my ministry, you will see angels ascending and descending. In other words, I'm that ladder that connects heaven to the earth. If you talk with me, you will just be flipping. You will just be flipping from one nation to another. You'll be flipping from one place to another. Did you know that when a believer dies, they don't see death. You don't know? Have you seen a non-believer die before? So they, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening, Baba? What's that? Something's chasing me. A, a real believer, do you not see that? Because the believer has died once. It's appointed for a man to die once. And after that, his judgment. What happens to a believer is that they shut their eyes here and they open their eyes here. In a place where they are right now. They don't meet at the river bank. They don't see someone say, stop there, where are you going? No. Nobody says that to them. Because where he is, there shall we be. We are sitting somewhere right now. Come on, talk to me. I don't know if I can show you a scripture that can help you. Revelation 12.12. 12. Revelation 12.12. 12. You need a prophetic insight to understand this. Therefore rejoice, O heavens. Watch this. Rejoice, O heavens. And you who dwell in them. <laughs> he that dwells. He that dwells. In a secret place of the Most High shall abide. You know what they do? Go and watch African magic. Particularly Yoruba. They call somebody sleeping at home. Beyond oh, three times, I'm going to call you the third time. The guy that appears in the witch coven, they shoot at him. Boah! The guy goes home, goes doing his business. The seventh day, he just has vomiting blood in his office because they call the spirit. That's an unbeliever operating under closed heaven. To a believer, they can't call your spirit. Let me tell you why. Listen. Because that spirit man is hid in Christ with God. Who will, how will they call you? The Bible says don't, don't fear those who can do things to your flesh and blood. That's all they can do to you. They can call you human spirit. Because that's where you are. You are right now with God. Except you don't believe it. Paul says, I went up by what? Revelation. The strength of a believer's salvation is what he understands. Isaiah 33 verse 6. Isaiah 33 verse 6. Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of any time you find yourself. It will stabilize you. Wisdom and your knowledge. 
And is that will be the strength of your salvation. So when you don't have them, your salvation is weak. The guarantee of your salvation is what you know. Therefore, don't joke when I'm teaching you this. Say, why, why, why is he teaching on his, his evening now? He should not teach. He should do something else. It, listen, if you don't have direction, tonight there's a problem throughout the year. You know, I was preaching last year. You thought I was just joking. Did you see what happened? I'm about to make some statements right now. I just wanted to, you know, to, to place you on the right pedestal so that the revelation can stand. 31st night in any church where you have a serious pastor is the message you must buy as you are going home. Except he doesn't hear God. And tonight I have a word from the Lord. Are you all still here? He said rejoice. Those of you that dwell in heaven. Look at the next statement. Revelation 12, 12. It says, woe to another set of people, inhabitants of the earth. And even those who dwell in the sea. Why? For the devil has come to you. Having great wrath. Look at the next statement. Because he has a short time. He's talking to people that are living in the end of times. He has a short time. There are people who are sitting beside you now. They dwell in heaven. Now. Paul says to be absent in the body. <laughs> It's to be present with the Lord. Do you know sometimes I'm worshiping and I'm gone? I'm not lying to you. I'm gone. When you tap me, I have to come back. When Dr. Benihin ministered on the stage, when we go downstairs, he said, how did you do that? He said, you know something, Pastor? When I'm worshiping, I, I'm, I forget myself. And I understood that because it happens to me. I need to bring myself back. I need to bring myself back. I forget about everybody here. I need to bring myself back because we can flip those two locations. What happens to you when you fast? There is so much weakness in the flesh. It's like this swing. When you, are, when you put weight here, this one goes up. And when your spirit jacks up, it comes to the level of the frequency. John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. The word was is ginomai. I became. He was always in the spirit. But suddenly he switched. And then he heard the voice. When you are hearing the tiny voice of God, it's because you not flipped. When he flipped, he heard the voice of God like the chorus of many lions. In that world, you see, there are waves here. You need to tune to that level. The Bible says, watch this. Not when we're going to go to heaven. When Jesus died, you died. When Jesus rose, you rose. And guess what? You were made to sit together. Where? In the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Far above principalities and powers and dominion and every other name that can be named can somebody shout hallelujah <laughs> say after me that is not where I'm going to sit <laughs> say that is where I'm sitting now <laughs> but let me tell you something that Dr. Jerry Savell and Kenneth Copeland says all the time there is no seat belt tying you to that belt you can leave the place from time to time that is why the Bible says he that dwells not he that visits the secret place of the most High shall abide under the covering of the almighty somebody here you're already experiencing change yeah. i said somebody here you're already experiencing change yeah. somebody here you're already experiencing change yeah. in the name of jesus please don't be mistaken that because we live in the same country we carry the same passport we come to the same church we are from the same tribe we speak the same language we have the same accent don't think we are the same. Don't make that mistake. Please, don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, who does not stand in the part of the sinners, who does not sit with the scoffers. But his delight who is in the law of the Lord, which he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water 
bearing its fruit in its season. Whose leaf doesn't wither? And whatever it does, prospers. Did you know that God just described you? Every other tree, if it doesn't rain, the wither. But this one is luscious throughout the year. Why? Its root goes to a river. The Bible says, God is our refuge and our strength, the very present, time of time, the present help in time of trouble. The Bible says, therefore we shall not fear. No matter what happens, we shall not fear because there is a river. Psalm 46, there is a river whose streams makes the city of God glad. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. In 2021, no matter what is coming on the face of the earth, you shall not be moved. Can I hear your amen? I thunder. When it doesn't rain, you see during Hamilton or, or, or some seasons, you see, you see that all the flowers fall down. Everything is dry. But during the rainy season or autumn, everything is luscious. During summer, everything is luscious. But there is a tree. In London, there's a tree like that that doesn't wither. It's always budding throughout the year. Then they traced it and found out that the roots was joined to River Thames. Even the way it was, was very far. But they traced the roots joined to River Thames because you are joined to this river this river of life. He said, those who believe in me, out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water. In the name of Jesus, you will never wither. You will never wither. Your heaven will not be closed. In the name of Jesus. Uh, we are a different set of people. We are so different. We are so different. We are so different. We are so different. Whose lead does not wither? And whatever it leads the sense to do, prospers. I wanted to look at verse 6 of Psalm 1. The Bible says the wicked are not so. The wicked are not so. Look, look at that. Look at maybe verse 5. The Bible says, therefore, the wicked shall not stand. Uh, maybe is it verse 4? Let me look at that. Verse 4, quickly. The ungodly are not so. They are not so. They are like chaff. <laughs> the wind blows them away. You will not be blown away. So when you see people being blown away, you see people dying of pandemic or for or some something. Don't just, ha! Did you know that this person died? So what? I said, so what? The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your right. Ten thousand as ten thousand people died about what you're afraid of. Ten thousand. God says, let me give you an extreme. Ten thousand people who are not just ten thousand people. They are your right hand people. Around you, colleagues. So it won't come near you. So we are not the same. Oh. We're not the same. We're not the same. It will not come near you. I prophesy it will not come near you. I said it will not come near you. Now, I told you my foundation is always very deep. My message is not far. So let me share the message itself. Exodus 11, chapter, uh, verse 4. Just three scriptures. Exodus 11 verse 4. I'm going to read from verse 4 to 7. Then Moses said, thus says the Lord, about midnight, I will go out in the midst of Egypt. How many of you know that Egypt is the type of the world system? I will go out to the world and all the firstborn of the land of Egypt shall die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on his throne. So there will be high and mighty people that will go through things. Let me tell you something. The Lord spoke to me, I think, four or five days ago. I can't remember. And the Lord said to me, 2021 is going to be a year that will terrify people. And what is going to happen, people that you don't believe will give their lives to Christ. People that you cannot imagine. Kanye is small. People that you cannot imagine will have to be forced to give their life to Jesus. Things that will shake people, things that will terrify people will happen. But listen to me, no matter what happens, just stay on track. Because God has gone ahead of you. By the time tonight is over, you will sing a new song. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. And all the firstborn of the land shall die, of which you shall die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on the throne, even to the firstborn of female servant who is behind the hand meal. And all the firstborn of their animals. 
there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as was not like it before, nor shall it be again. Verse 7. But against none of the children of Israel shall a dog move its tongue. And against man or beast that you may know, watch this, that the Lord does make a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites. That will be your story. In that family, the heaven, the micro heaven over you will make a difference. Can I believe it? Come on, shout amen somebody. I'm prophesying to you, receive it where you are. I said receive it where you are. I say, receive it where you are. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's my neighbor does not count. Him. Malachi 3.19. Malachi 3.19. Glory be to God. And behold, I send my messenger. And he will prepare the way before you. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come into the temple. In the name of Jesus, expect the suddenly tonight. Look at what the Bible now says. The Bible says, look at that. Even the messengers of the covenant, messenger of the covenant, in whom you delight, behold, is coming. Oh, what's that? Verse 19. 319. 319. 3, Malachi 319. Glory be to God. Amen. Then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked and between one who serves God and one who does not serve God. There will be a difference. There will be a you will You that is not a prophet will discern that. Ah! Oyato. It's different. May the grace for difference rest upon you. The wicked are not so. They're like chaff that the wind blows away. May grace differentiate you. In 2021, may grace differentiate you. In 2021, grace for exemption rests upon you. If you believe it, let me hear your amen. I thunder. Exodus chapter number 10 verse 22. Bible says these things were written for our examples. In 1 Corinthians 10, it says they were written for our examples. We to whom the end of the world has come. In Exodus 10 verse 22, I'm going to read two verses to you. So Moses stretched out his hand towards heaven. And there was thick darkness in the land of Egypt three days. Darkness that was speaking. You lit a candle, the candle could not shine. God fought the kingdom of darkness with darkness. Somebody said, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. And they wanted to help him. But when they put that thing, it was kerosene, it wasn't water. As they drank it, somebody died. They, they were just self-destructing. In the afternoon, for three days, darkness that you couldn't see the next step. In the entire nation. But look at what the Bible says here. The next verse. They did not see one another. Nor did anyone rise from his place. For three, You couldn't see. The, you couldn't take the next step. But all the children of Israel. Had lights. Uh, uh, listen guys. I'm not here to impress you. I'm telling you. The word of the Lord to us. If you receive it, you will share your testimony. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, your micro heaven will not be shut down. It doesn't matter what is happening in your country, you will stand out. Your economy will not go down. Your health will not collapse. I said no matter what is happening, Except I am not a man of God and I accept I did not hear from God. What, no matter what the news says, it will only take you up. If you believe me, let me hear your amen like thunder. 
Let me hear a threefold amen, somebody. Tell people around you, tell them I'm sitting with Jesus in the heavenly places. Come on, say, I'm sitting with Jesus in the heavenly places. Now, I'm going to just stop right now because I have more than six sessions. I have six sessions at the 12 Days of Glory. So I'm going to take you from one level to the other and show you carefully many, many scriptures in the 12 Days of Glory. Starting from 2nd of January. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, someone's position is changing. You know how many times I've said that today? I say it again, in the name of Jesus, your position is changing. I say it again, in the name of Jesus, your position is changing. Today, the Lord shall disgrace your Goliath. And you will be poisoned in the mouth of your enemy. You are no longer a prey for the adversary. Everywhere you step, honor goes with you. Amen. Why? For God is making a difference. Amen. In your office, there will be a difference. Amen. In your family, there will be a difference. Amen. In your career, there will be a difference. Amen. For the Lord is making a difference. Amen. God's plan for us is that we should live on earth as it is in heaven. As it is. Jesus said, your kingdom come. And if you're born again, you're carrying the kingdom. You are a walking kingdom. And if the kingdom has come into your life, you will live here as though you're in heaven, according to the faith that you carry. Therefore, I carry on the wings of this revelation. And I prophesy, let there be a shift in your experiences. You are landing into 2021 flying high in this, on this revelation. Begin to operate under an open heaven. Begin to operate under an open heaven. In the name of Jesus. Look at your ground. Your ground is soaked and wet. The heaven is open over you. Jesus said, lift up your head so you get and be lifted up you everlasting doors and let the king of glory come in. And they questioned him. They said, who is the king of glory? And he answered them back. Did you know that from that day, we have a right to pass through that stuff? I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your heaven is open. You enjoy angelic assistance. You enjoy help from heaven. When your heaven is open, you are not like Daniel. Daniel was on earth, storming prayers to heaven. Because of the dispensation he lived in. But the Bible says when Jesus died, you died. When he rose, you rose. When he ascended, you were made to ascend together with him and to sit together with him. Who will block your prayer? When you are sitting beside Jesus, who will block your prayer? Therefore, in the name of Jesus, every illegal blockade, because Satan is a tyrant. He doesn't, he doesn't understand priest treaty. Every illegal blockade in the name of Jesus scatter right now. Scatter right now. Scatter, 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 scatter. In the name of Jesus. You know what will happen to you as you step out of the service today? As you join your faith with mine and ride on this revelation. Some experiences, you just see that you didn't pray about them. It just didn't come back again. Now, let me say this to you as we start to pray. Our father, the Bible described him as a man of war. How can you, if you're not a bastard, become a civilian? If Jesus is the Lord of, Lord of hosts, modern versions call him the Lord of Jehovah's army. If he's the captain of Jehovah's army, how dare you behave like a civilian? Therefore, you must behave like a man of war. The Bible says the kingdom of God is not a meat and drink. It's in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. But the Bible also says that it's in the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence, violence, but the violent person takes it by force. 
Bible talks about the kingdom. It says all men press into it. What you don't press into, you don't enjoy in the kingdom. All men press into it. You don't hear what is yours and say, well, that's nice. My father gave that to me. Okay, all right. You can keep using it. You can keep blocking me from it. Uh, and you start telling me, do you know my father gave me this? They say, where is it? Say, well, some people are there. No, 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 no. If you believe it, you press into it. You press, you get a lawyer and press charges. It gives you a victims who are there. You can't behave like a gentleman tonight. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah. If you are watching me from all our campuses, or you are watching me from the comfort of your home, it's time to stand up right now and become violent. Immediately we start praying this prayer. Somebody here, you will be repositioned. The emptiers that have said, you will never lift your head, they will flee from you. Can I have a receiving name in somebody? There is somebody here, doctors have given you a certain report. As we start to pray, suddenly, you just see that something has separated you from that thing. That will be your story. 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 Jesus said, in the beginning, it was not so. Therefore, begin to enjoy heaven on earth. Let your will be done on earth as it is. If they can oppress in heaven, you will not be oppressed here. If giants cannot access your place in heaven, they will not be able to access you here. If sickness cannot ravage your body in heaven, they will not be able to ravage your body here. If you believe it, shout amen somebody. Somebody said, okay, if someone is not sick, how will they die? <laughs> it's because you've not seen some saints die. They tell their wives to cook food for them. They eat, they get on the bed and sleep. At a very good old age. Why is that? Has that not happened to people around you? They didn't believe it. Therefore, in the name of Jesus... The Bible says that the communication of your faith might be effective. You acknowledge. As you acknowledge tonight, let the grace rest upon you. If you believe it, shout amen like thunder. I know that to somebody, what I'm sharing is strange. It's not, you know, mentally, you know, receptive. And you're just thinking, you know, why is this young person very superstitious? That's why God sent you here. So that every single thing the enemy has packaged you in, to make you live in defeat. Today, they are shaking off. They are shaking off today. Some of you think you are not believing me, but you will get home and see that you believed me. Because I'm carrying you on the wings of my faith. I prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, let there be a turnaround in your life. You are going to raise your voice right now and begin to thank the Lord for 2020. The trick is to raise your voice. The trick is to raise your voice. No gentleman's prayer today. Spend time. If you need to leave your seat, leave your seat. If you want to come to the altar, feel free. Raise your voice and begin to give thanks to the Lord. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. You are the awesome God, oh, the mighty God. I will praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah. Uh -huh. I will praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, mighty Father. I will praise your name, Jehovah. You are the awesome God. You are the awesome God. Oh, the mighty God. I will praise your name. Jesus, you are the awesome God. Oh, the mighty God. I will praise your name. Jehovah. Jehovah. Oh, I will 
your voice with a voice of a commander we have a short time to pray so you're going to raise your voice with the voice of a commander let me tell you something words don't die what did i tell you words don't die did you hear those words i spoke ahead of time in 2019 words don't die don't even means words don't be don't be stingy with words today you're going to raise your voice with the voice of enough, enough, you say, Father, in the name of Jesus. You're not sounding like you're ready. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Every illegal blockade in my life, in my family, scatter. Pray the prayer. In the beginning, it was not so. Therefore, Satan, take off your hands. I refuse you. I am not coming into 2021 with you. Oh, Raise your voice. I can't hear you. Pray with finality. Only the tree that my father has planted is allowed. No matter how small, I'm not allowing you anymore. No more, no more, no more, no more. Shiva Bobo Boko to go for the home of three and break a diva. Come on, I can't hear you. Move around and match on the enemy. Take authority to that. Raise your voice with authority. Every legal blockade blocking me from getting married, blocking me from entering into my new dimension. Any legal blockade scattered by the power in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, come on, spend some time, pray that prayer. 
You have no place in me. You have no place in my marriage. You have no place in my health. Give way now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, precious name we pray. If God could open your eyes to what is happening already, you would you will be shouting already. You're gonna raise your voice again and address directly. Say in the name of Jesus. Address it. Say plots of darkness. I'm not enjoying you. Can the sister see the brothers how to pray? Say plots of darkness. Against me in 2021. If the brothers can the brothers join and say every plot of darkness against me in 2021. Whether it's on my health, or my marriage, or my children, every plot of darkness against me in 2021, in the name of Jesus, be drowned right now! Pray the prayer! Speak ahead of time. Be proactive. Every plot of darkness against me. Words don't die. Speak ahead of time. Drown right now. Drown right now. In the name of Jesus. See Vazada Hakaya. In Jesus. Precious name we pray. The Bible says in Job 5 12, frustrate the plan of the crafty. Listen, it's not the longevity time of the time that you pray. You have to be effective. Stay with me. Every time a believer prays, he ought to get results. Somebody said to me, Pastor Bill, you led us to pray a prayer. As I got home, somebody died. And doors opened for me and my siblings. We're not joking here. I wanted to pray that prayer. I said, in the name of Jesus. I said, frustrate the plans of the crafty. Let them never be able to perform their enterprise. See, I'm standing on Job 5 verse 12. I'm standing on Job 5 verse 12. Every plot and scheme of the enemy in the name of Jesus over my life over mention that thing over my career backfire pray the prayer let it backfire let it backfire let it backfire let everything assigned against me arise and kill the sinners every day of 2021 let it backfire. Yes, I see the Hima Kote. Come on, closer. Words don't die. Maleka Balagarata Bagadi Gabaya. Protocols. Everybody raise your voice and pray prayers. In the name of Jesus. Backfire. Epagadara. Ligataga Bragadi Bohoya. Yes, I see the Bahalaya. It is not in 2021 I'm going to the grave. Everything fashioned against me, my children, my ministry, but fire now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, precious name we pray. They're gonna shout you say blood of Jesus. Jesus. Come on, let me hear you shout blood of Jesus. Jesus. Come on, let me hear you shout blood of Jesus. Jesus. Reject every infirmity inside of me. Reject every sickness inside of me. Reject every limitation inside of me. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. Throughout 2021, I will not be admitted. Every evil clinical prophecy, blood of Jesus, burning into chaff, it is not my portion. Every time I appear before the doctor, I'm walking out with testimony. Yeah, come, come on, brother, pray.
Thank you, Father. In Jesus, precious name we pray. Please don't be tired. We've not started. We've got 23 more minutes. Hallelujah. Isaiah 45 says, Thus see the Lord. Isaiah 45 verse 1. It says, To the anointed, he's anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I've held. And the reason why I've held his hand is to subdue. When you hear nations, they're talking about not literal nations, not countries. It was Israel and other nations. They were the ones called the Edens to subdue the enemies before him and to lose the armor of kings and to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. Say in the name of Jesus. Let me say something. When you want to construct a house, the space you create for a door is, a, is the door. The lid you put on it that we call the door is a gate. That's why Jesus said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift, lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Why? The doors were there before somebody put a cover. Therefore, you have a right to tell the gates to scatter. You don't need to pray for doors. The doors were there. Everlasting before I came. The doors to my prosperity, doors to my marriage, door. God, the Lord brought them there, but somebody put the gate there. You're going to address the gate. He says, I will build my church and the gates will not prevail. Raise your voice, say in the name of Jesus. You are not shouting like you want to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. You are going to put anything you want, whether career, whether health, you that gate. You address it. Say, be lifted up right now. In the name, say, be scattered. Say in the name of Jesus. You that gate of blockading ministry, scatter! Pray the prayer. You have no portion in me. You have no space in my life. I disallow you. I will not permit you. I adjure you. I come against you. You that thing that makes me take 10 steps forward and I take 20 steps backward. In the name of Jesus, away with you. Away with you. Makoratapa. Sizidi Himaloba Halabayanta. I cross your root in my life. I come against you. Pray with the all of your heart. Shut your eyes and pray that prayer. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, precious name, we pray. You are going to pray this prayer. This is one of the most important prayers. You are going to speak ahead of your time before you step into 2021. The Bible says the path of the just is like a shining light that shines ever brighter onto the perfect day. You're going to raise your voice and say, In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray like you are nobody. Say, say, In the name of Jesus. I, Biodun, my path is like a shining light. I'm shining ever brighter. This is the least I will ever be. In the name of Jesus, Biodun, shine on. Pray the prayer. Shine on. Kali Karaba 
Father, in the name of Jesus, throughout 2021, I will not lack direction. I will not lack instruction. Pray that prayer. I will hear a voice behind me telling me, go this way. My business ideas will be accurate. My business decisions will be accurate. I will not lose money. I will not lose relevance. Every evil investor Assigned to me in the name of Jesus, you have no access. Mareta Bocatali Gridi Bohura Bahakata Sezini Bungatala Bahakoto Li Prudi Himakosada Bahakata. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. The Bible says, let the beauty of our Lord be upon us. Establish your work of our hand. Yeah, establish your work of our hand. You say, Father, in the name of Jesus, take the work of my hand to another level. In 2021, everyone that asks and receive it, go ahead and ask right now. Take the work of my hand to a place of envy. Take it to a place of envy. Take it to another level. In the name of Jesus, let 21, 2021 be my year of establishment. In the name of Jesus. Masse kata. Eprundi kalaba katendi. Zizidi hima kuradaba hakazi adeba. Take the work of my hand to another level. The work of my hand to another level. Don't let me have a better yesterday. Shiva kozede bohosu zidi bohwe. La trika praka di brode he makarata pakazada baha. Sanze sanze kostele brode kebola baba. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. One more prayer before you go into personal supplication. Say, Father. What you are doing in 2021? Involve me. Ha. I hope you understand that prayer. Some people are dragging God into what they want to do. Some people say, God, what are you doing? Involve me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. In 2021, what you are doing all over the world? Involve me. Pray that prayer from your heart. Use me, Lord. Make me part of it. May I not be like the fig tree that is useless. Make me part of it. 
Make me a conduit. Make me a conduit. Shabako rata hamagazidi bosa sestari. Lika para ta bahazi ali bosinte. Liko brindi kere bosinda hasta ligri de bohola bahi. Make me a conduit. Involve me. Involve our church. Involve my pastor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Before you go into personal supplication, let me tell you something. Somebody in America, in Nigeria, in America, had a revelation like this. And this woman decided to go and meet a pastor. The pastor said, your problem is that you're preaching on that close table. Fast for three days and ask the Lord that you're tired of this and command that this thing opens. First, the second, the third day. The third day, she heard, daughter, your heaven is open. She rejoiced and she was wondering, so what is going to go on? God said, well, you fasted, so it's time to go for shopping. So she laughed. I said, <laughs> for sure. I don't have a dime. I only take a coupon to eat. I don't know. God said, go and shop. So she said, okay. She went there. God said, take a trolley. Fill it. She filled it. God said, take another trolley. Fill it. <laughs> she was like, hey. I didn't know hearing voices. She filled it. God said, take another one. Fill it. She filled it to a pyramid level. God said, take another one. Seventh one. God said, fill it very well. He said, so what am I going to do now? God said, go to the till, the seventh till. On the seventh till, there's a notice there that the person is on break. It was about five minutes to seven o'clock. So she, she said, no. She took it to the third till. God said, I said, go to the seventh till. So she went there. And just by the time she went one after the other to put the, the trolleys there, Immediately to seven o'clock, they just announced this organization is doing anniversary today. I'm telling you a true story. Doing an anniversary today, and whoever is on that till at seven o'clock, everything you picked is for free. You're gonna raise your voice now and say, "Oh heavens!" Over my life, tear open. Pray that prayer with fire. No more delay. Tear open. Tear open to that. Kaze da bokara tapa. I'm entering into the miraculous. I'm entering into new favor. I'm entering into new dimension. Tear open now. I command you. You have no choice. I am not your candidate. Blockade is not my portion. Matt Parker, who is tired of being on the spot. Pressing, 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 pressing. Oh, Shiba Korata Bakazia de Bosete. Shiba Kota Proni Hima Korata Bakita. Asizi de Hima Kotri Kepraka de Bronde. Nikara Takata Kata Kapraka de Bronde Himalaba. Sebuku Susu de Huma Sose de Bosta. Shimba ko tele trike preke di brode hima la breke di brode di ne 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 beke 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 di brode 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 Listen to me. 
I was in church some time ago, in a terrible service like this. And I was, I was, you know, people were sowing seed for certain things and I was praying for them one after the other. And a lady moved close to me and she said, Pastor, I want to talk to you. And she whispered to me, she said, I'm a cancer patient. I looked at her head. Chemo had finished all her head, all her hair. Invariably, she's been going through chemo. A part of her body had been affected by cancer and not just affected by cancer, each time they did an operation, it will reoccur. It will go higher. It will go higher. I just prayed a simple prayer. According to her, you're going to watch her testimony during the 12 days of glory. <laughs> According to her, she got to the hospital and the doctors were like, what? It seems we even had a wrong diagnosis. Because, no, you couldn't, no, 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 no. It, if not that, I, I could have said maybe we had a wrong diagnosis. When she showed me the pictures, I said, please, don't show anybody this. We can't even show this to you. Guess what? God healed her totally. She showed me, she showed me a picture. I said, she looked like my grandmother. But if you look at her now, God restored everything back. You're going to see, just watch out for the testimony. And with, the, with what they did to her during the operation, I didn't think she would get married. Last week she got married. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? She told me, she said, Pastor, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my testimony. I told God that if he healed me, I will share my testimony. And I said to her, you've not seen anything. As she walked out of this place after recording the testimony, she's into properties. She just received a phone call. They bought a, she's not sold in a while. They bought a property. So she called the church and said, what is going on? I just sold a property. The next day, they called her again. Boom, another one. I tell you the truth, there is a God that can sustain the normal. That is the realm you're entering. I said, that's the realm you're entering. There's a brother I'm looking at right now that I shared his testimony. I said to you that I, the family came to me and I said, go, go and do this one. Don't do this one again. You remember the testimony? And I told you he sold the house. He just signed a contract. An organization just signed a contract with him in billions after that testimony. In billions. He came to church jumping. He said, what will he do? My wife said, what, what will I do? What is happening here? An organization that they, you know, they wanted to buy you know, some things together and they signed it with him in billions. Someone who has not sold for a while. Just an encounter with the Lord. Some of these things are not normal. A closed heaven ended at the word. Go! And it just went. And boom! Therefore, as you walk out of this place today, we're not joking here. The problem you have is unbelief. As you walk out of this place today, in the name of Jesus, you are walking into a new testament. Therefore, in 2021, God said, I, I should tell you that it's a year that you're experiencing heaven and earth. In the name of Jesus, your life will be reminiscent of heaven and earth. You will be reminiscent of heaven and earth. Everyone that sees you will know that God sent this upon you. You are walking out of this place tonight as a citizen of heaven. As a citizen of heaven. As a citizen of heaven. No more luck in your life. God will lift you up. I waited patiently for the Lord. I inclined to the sound of his voice. He lifted me from the deepest place and set my feet upon the rock. Your feet is set upon the rock. Your feet is set upon the rock. And I said, the Lord lived from the dung hill and set them among princes. After today, you are set among princes. 
what you had in abundance will go to another level. That smart man said, increase my greatness. He was already great, but he knew God could increase it. He said, I had comfort on some sides, but Lord, comfort me on every side. That shall be your story. Enter into newness. Enter into newness. His will will be done in your life on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus, you will not lack bread. You will not lack bread. You will not lack resources. In the name of Jesus, everything Noah needs, everything Noah needed to build the ark, to get the animals came to him. In the name of Jesus, everything Adam, Adam needed came to him. Struggles are over in your life. The Lord will turn your life around. The Lord will turn your life around. I went to a place, I met a brother. He said to me, when I came to Koza, I borrowed transport fare. He said, would you come and dedicate my eatery? Had four or five at the same time. The man who helped him, he didn't know him from Adam. I prophesy to you, you will look at your helpers. Get ready for a change of story. Get ready for a change of story. Let his will be done in your life as it is in heaven. You will not be sick. Amen. Watch it. That diagnosis will be turned around. Amen. Your marriage will bloom. Amen. If you be believing God for children or your grandchildren, you will carry your baby this year. Amen. 2019, December, I was here praying. The Lord it remains one person in my family. You saw that at the tail end of this year, last year, God give us twins. I prophesy. That is the same way you will share your own story and it will give birth to other stories. You are moving to a new dimension. The Lord just opened my eyes. I saw you on the mountain top with two hands up. Shouting the shout of victory. Shouting the shout of victory. The year 2021. I don't know who I'm talking to. They will not bury your wife. In the name of Jesus. God will step in and save you. I just heard a turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. In the name of Jesus. God will help you. Your strength will not go down. You will fire and refire. Let the oil upon your head be stronger. Let the grace upon your hand life be bigger. Take money out of money. Let help rise for you. Divine ideas locate you. In the name of Jesus, God will take you further, further, and faster. God will take you further, further, and faster. God will take you further, further, and faster. Further, and faster. In your career, I see you stand on the mountain top. In the name of Jesus, everybody stretch out your hands. Let the oil for speed rest upon those hands. Be marked for a difference. Everywhere you are, there will be a difference between you and the unbelievers. There will be a difference between these Israelis and the, and the Egyptians. In the name of Jesus. No matter what comes in 2021, you will stand out. Nothing that comes in 2021 will reduce your speed. In the name of Jesus. Those ends, everything you lay them on, will walk. They will walk. They will walk. Receive the impartation in the name of Jesus. The last time you fail is the last time you ever fail. Everything that has your name on it will work. They will work. Receive the impartation. From tonight, one thing you will notice as you receive from me tonight, your sleep will be different. You shut your eyes, you will be refreshed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every evil mark is wiped out from your head. In the name of Jesus. Enjoy heaven and earth. Heaven and earth in your marriage. Heaven and earth in your business. Heaven and earth in your health. Heaven and earth in everything you lay your hands to do. In your destiny, heaven and earth. 
that is your story so shall it be in the name of Jesus I want to give you like a minute to just talk to the Lord yourself like a minute to talk to the Lord yourself or two oh what a night Enter into you with thanksgiving. Press it to you with thanksgiving. Thank you, Father. So shall it be. Everything that has stopped that used to walk in your life that you still desire, let them begin to work. No more spiritual dryness in your life. In the name of Jesus, from now, as your amen will be loud, in the name of Jesus, your expectations will not be cut off. Enter into new testimonies. You will never lack ideas. You never lack help. Amen. Every heaviness in your life is arrested. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit of disappointment is arrested. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Enjoy heaven and earth. Amen. Let the miracles begin. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I put a seal upon you tonight. Anyone that wants to make sure that these words do not come to pass, let them receive an angelic slap. Any stronghold in your bloodline, any stronghold in your atmosphere, anything assigned to you to make sure that these words don't come to pass. Let them be buried before you tonight. By all means, is your season for a lifting. Now, look at me, everybody. While the world is going through trials, because they will go through it, you will enter triumph. While they are experiencing tests, you are going to be experiencing testimonies. For the Lord is making a difference. He's making a difference. Therefore, heaven and earth is your experience. If a prophet speaks and it doesn't come to pass, don't believe him. But if he speaks and comes to pass, fear the Lord. Every day of 2021, you look back and say, wow, see what I just escaped. Wow, see what just happened. That will be your testimony. Receive the impartation. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Walk with this consciousness. When I come into the church building, I remember Moses. When Moses stepped into the tabernacle, the glory descended. There's a glory that was in church before when he stepped in. The, that's my consciousness. Watch it. When I enter the church building, I don't have to be in the church. Everything shifts. It's something I built. Build it that you are experiencing heaven and earth. Enter your office tomorrow is a different atmosphere. Because the heaven over you is different. Thy heaven that is upon thy head. <laughs> Some of us are very tough. Very, very tough in the spirit to be stagnated. Because knowledge and wisdom is the stability of that time. There are two ways to have dangerous encounters with God. Prayer and what you know. Revelation. It jacks you up. As he spoke to me, the spirit came into me and set me upon my feet. Today, you are on your feet. You will not be tired in 2021. 
you will take money out of money. Amen. Except you don't believe what I shared with you. You will take money out of money. Amen. Your life will change. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So as those things are happening, you find yourself in some country, you see yourself sit in some cabins and the aircraft, you see something, you remember this night that this is that that was spoken by the prophet. Because by all means, you experience ever on earth. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Everybody say after me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I heard your word and I believe your word. I receive Jesus as my Lord and as my Savior. I believe Jesus died for me. I believe Jesus was buried. I believe that on the third day, Jesus was raised from the dead. Everything Jesus did by his death, burial, resurrection, and ascension, I receive today into my human spirit. I receive the gift of eternal life. I am born again. Holy Spirit, come into me. Reign in me. Live in me. Give me a new beginning. In Jesus' name. Every covenant I had with the devil, consciously, even unconsciously, I break now. The heaven over me is open because of Jesus. Your will is done on earth in my life as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Somebody clap about it and shout about it. Everyone else. The Lord is making a difference. Woo! Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. All right, I wanted to take a seat. I wanted you to know that every seed you give now is our first fruit. We sow it in great ministries. So this is going to really bless you. We're not touching a dime out of it. Even if you sow electronically, we're going to look at our records, know where you sowed, and we're going to withdraw that amount and join it with the first fruit and sow it. This is our first offering in our church in 2021. Hallelujah. Okay, so I want the tithers to come forward. If you want to tithe, you want to sow seed, while the rest of us prepare our offerings. This is not the kind of day you say, I'm not going to sow a seed. Oh, I'm poor. I don't have, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Thank you for not leaving me to the wishes of my enemy. Thank you for Jehovah of the beta. Thank you. Thank you. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Do you know the song? Thank you for not leaving me to the wishes of my enemies. Thank you for not leaving me to the Wishes of my enemies. Oh. When the enemies came like a flood, Jehovah, you raised a standard against him. Oh, there is nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing is too hard for you to do. Thank you for not giving me to the wishes of my enemies. Thank you for fighting my for me, Jehovah. Thank you for fighting my battles. 
battles for me. Jehovah, oh Lube. me to the wishes of my enemies. Hallelujah! How many are deliberate like me? You know exactly what you're doing, right? Okay, let's lift up our offerings as we close. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God goes with you. 2021, you will shine on. Amen. Things will stand up for you. Amen. You will never lag behind. Amen. When the hand is lifted up, the way your hand is above your head, so shall you be above your contemporaries. It is well with you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go and enjoy heaven and earth. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. I want to give you a personal invitation. I want to give you a personal invitation to the 12 days of glory we're starting on the second from five o'clock there will be personal supplication time i want you to come early your life will not remain the same in jesus precious name hallelujah God's instructions faithfully. The untold pain that goes unnoticed. We see your labor of love and the burden you bear for us, doggedly leading us to our inheritance no matter the stake. Who can liken to our pastor? The kindness that you display that touches the least and the hope you inspire within us can never be quantified. Our life mentor, our instructor, our creature extraordinary, our covenant father. See, just see how much our lives have changed because you stood with us. We join the host of heaven today to say we love you. 
And the best is yet to come for you, sir. Happy birthday, our amiable global senior pastor, the Reverend Biadam Fatuibo. Koza Global loves and celebrates you dearly.